Oh my god! Mardi Gras! This block is so lit! Chrome Moore is known for her role as First Lady Victoria, and Lodrick D. Collins is known for his role as Donald, from Tyler Perry's popular TV show, The Oval. They both went live to discuss and laugh about Victoria's funny insane moments on set and more. The Oval is about the lives of a family placed in the White House by people of power, while also shining light on the personal side and everyday lives of the staff who run things on the inside. The show really does have some crazy moments, but it is a really great show, so check it out when you get the chance. Okay guys, let's get into the video. All right, what's up, y'all? We got a lineup today. Uh, I'll wait till a few more people get in. What's up, Aiken? Uh, three five four one X O X O T. Uh, cool breeze. What's popping? Uh, I got my homie coming in. Y'all know her as Victoria Franklin, but to me, she is just K Ron, aka K Ramore. Um, I'm gonna bring her in right now. She's gonna kill me for calling her K Ron to y'all. Um, K wrong, where you at? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> did you hear me? Did you hear me? I heard you. <laughs> what up, K wrong? Not much, not much. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm glad you got a chance out of your busy schedule, you know. I mean, I know you're doing multiple shows and I know you got elevators in your house and all that stuff, but like the no, idea. Look it off. Hi y'all. Come... It's so good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> The idea that you could grace us with your presence today, you know, people been asking, where is uh, Victoria, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been doing live all day, huh? <laughs> yeah. Y'all been rocking with him all day. <laughs> They've been rocking with me all day. This is my riders right here. P.O.P., <laughs> baby. <laughs> Hold it down. Hold it down. P.O.P. <laughs> over here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Listen, I got ride or die over here. Ride or die is over here. You know what I mean? Not the elevator in the house. Who is this? H T T P. Wow. Y'all just um, I, you bad. cannot trust you can't trust him. You, you can't, can't trust Donald can't. for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. What's popping? How are you? I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Yeah. I haven't and seen you in a while. I know. It's been what? Since it's the fall. Minute. It's been yeah. a minute. You look like money. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just saying. You, know? you carry your fitness and all that. What's that? I see you in the gym taking care of your fitness and all that, drinking water and minding your business. You know, we tried. I don't know about minding my business, but I'm drinking a lot of water, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Yo, this character. <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? This lady. This lady. I think uh, the fans have been waiting because of the uh, the the scenes we've been having lately, the the falling out, the office. <laughs> I've gotten so many calls about that. They're just like, really, really. <laughs> and you know, I don't know if you, I don't know if you were there to hear this, but yeah. um, right after that scene, when we we stepped out of the the scene, Tyler was outside the door. Yeah, and he said. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> I said, you wrote it. He's like, yeah, but. Uh... Yeah, but you colored it. You colored it. No, the, um, oh, this thing keeps popping up. Yeah, uh, I agree with him with that. There, there is uh, possibly something wrong with you. Um, <laughs> Maybe. It was, for me, for me, it was the yellow brick road. I think you and I have been waiting for this scene to come up, right? This, this, this yeah. yellow brick road. Yeah, we have been, I've been waiting. I don't know about you, but I've been waiting for that scene to come. I was waiting Just, for it. I didn't know if it was going to make the cut because it was like, I, we couldn't hold it together. And y'all don't know this, but in that scene, <laughs> Lodrick had the toughest time maintaining composure. Like he... And a couple times, you 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 may have seen it. He was like, 
I got some people, I got some DMs with me like. <laughs> that was so insane. That was probably one of the most fun scenes I've done so far. I think it was. And the funniest, well, you know, I was jealous because the whole concept of the scene was you could just be as insane and crazy as you wanted to be and just go with it in this. Meanwhile, I got to stand there and keep a straight face with you. And I remember trying to keep that face, and I heard like a camera guy go, <laughs> I was like, this, this, this right here, this. <laughs> and when we cut, everybody just burst out laughing. It was, it yeah. was so fun. That was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. I didn't know what it would look like, but it actually looked really cool, you know? Yeah. It actually looked really cool. Ooh, so you ready for tonight? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, no spoil. I don't want to give any spoilers, but like who'd have thought that these two would kind of be in cahoots together? You know what I mean? Crazy, crazy. Or, or at least appear to be in cahoots together. <laughs> yeah, some, in cahoots or something like it. We don't know. <laughs> something like it. I don't know where it's going. But, uh, <laughs> well, the fan in me doesn't know where it's going. The, uh, yeah. Right, um, right. Actually, I don't know where it's going. I mean, we shoot so much, and it's been such a long time since we shot it. Yeah. I don't know. I know how it ends, but I don't really know the colors in between, you know? Yeah. So, you guys, when, when we're watching the show week over week with you, we're mm -hmm. literally watching it for the first, I mean, we're watching it with fresh eyes because yeah. a lot of us don't remember what happened. And so, we're just like, oh, 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 oh this is what we're doing. Okay, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So it's it's new to us too, and so we're watching it as fans, like you guys, and so we appreciate you rocking with us. Yeah, asking yeah, yeah, all yeah. kind of questions. Where, where's your daughter? Where's your daughter? They missing Paige, huh? I know, I'm missing her too. Karen thinks she's grown with all these pictures. Why, why do you think you're grown over there? You are grown, huh? I mean, what kind yeah. of pictures? What kind of pictures? I mean, we try to do a little something. We try to do a little something. something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, Sums, er, hi, Sums, earlier, Logic, when you said, what you said about kind of grumpy when you wake up. No, I'm not grumpy when I wake up. I'm grumpy when I'm doing fasted cardio. Yeah, because I like to eat. I'm a country Louisiana boy, so the idea of waking up and going to the gym without eating sounds insane to me, but that's what I've been doing. And you don't really want to be around me doing that process until I eat. That's all I'm saying. But I'm pretty much a happy person when I wake up until that happens. Y'all, don't let him lie to you. He's grumpy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. You know, you guys, he is one of my favorite people in the world. He's the coolest uh, guy. Um, he's not a diabolical like Donald. Oh, you're blushing. You're blushing. <laughs> that little monkey emo con. <laughs> Get all emo, but no, yeah. This yeah. is it's so much fun working with you. I can't wait to get back on set with you. Vice versa, vice versa. It's always dope. I couldn't think of... Uh, I couldn't think of anybody else to do those crazy scenes with. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling somebody, you know, they were like, uh, was it hard? Uh, is it hard to do those scenes uh, with Victoria? I was like, actually, it's not. I was like, because I got a lot of trust. I got a lot of trust in Karen, you know what I mean? And I trust that wherever it goes, it goes and we'll, we'll, we'll if, when we're in sync, we could take the voice together with whatever it is, you know what I mean? And I think it's one, you're probably one of one of one of a few people like when when we go in to it, it's like full. No, I mean, I think I got it with everybody. I think with you and a few other people, it's the most, you know what I mean? Where it's just like, you know what? In whatever. You know? Yeah, it's whatever. we we, yeah. we have a lot of fun and we're able to color the, the yeah. scenes in a lot and um, the dynamic between Victoria and Donald, I think, is really, really interesting. It's just shady sometimes. I I've always found it interesting. And there's just like some, there's this dance that they do. Yeah. I find it to be uh, really funny. And, um, um, and I don't know. It's like you said, I don't know where it's going. Yeah. Just yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll all find out together, but I'm enjoying the ride. I just find it funny that these two people, well, one, as a fan, I found it funny that after Donald waterboards his wife, that he could feel sad 
and feel like he's sitting in front of a bad person, which he does. The idea that Victoria can make Donald feel like, feel sorry for somebody. It's so buzz. I mean, the whole, the, the whole thing is just so fantastic and bizarre yeah. and the audacity of it really. It's, but that's what makes it. That's what makes it so fun. It's it's such an escape. It's escapism for me. I think for a lot of you guys too. Um, yeah, but 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 the audacity, like how? She reminds me of this cat. There was this cat in my neighborhood when I was a kid. He would bully everybody on the block. He wouldn't mess with me and my brothers because it was five of us and we rode that cat. But like he, if he saw you riding a bike, he would run up to you and just smack you upside your head and walk away. Just for the sake that he could do it. And I was watching uh, when Donald walks out of the hospital room and Victoria won't move. And he had to squeeze between Victoria and the bed. And she's just standing there like, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's blue right there. That <laughs> just for no reason, just because. It's just because. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Yeah, Victoria is a bully. I think she, yeah. she finds so much joy. She takes so much pleasure in just doing the things that she does just because she can. Just because she can. Um, and somebody was saying, um, what was the question that they said? Um, the question was, could, who do you think, could, who else do you think in the White House could be president? Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's not clear yet. I said, you know, I was like, yeah, Donald could be. He'd be more than capable, but Victoria would be as well. And I think it's like the, the concept of the show that there's all these people that are fully capable of running right. the White House, but that aren't, you know? And you could say, like, it's a Game of Thrones thing, and I don't think that's the concept per se, but, like, there's all these people that are capable of that are not. And then they were like, you think Victoria, uh, uh, Victoria would be? I was like, of course. Like, look, like. There's yeah. nothing you would love. But come on, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I'm just saying. We'll see where this thing goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hold you up too long. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad you had me on. Yeah, yeah I'm guys, glad you came hey, on. I, I see you guys' comments, and I, you know, we can't get to all of them, but we love you so much. I, I see this one. They say, and I don't know if BET is going to get me for this. It says, please say in Victoria's voice. So I'm, please I'm, say I'm, what? <laughs> it's my favorite. It's my favorite. You're gonna be like Samuel Jackson with the mother with the mother. Sorry. You you're gonna be like Samuel Jackson. You're gonna have a cat. Yeah. People gonna walk up to you and they're just gonna walk up to you and say that. Are they gonna expect that from you? You know what though? It's happened. Yeah. And See? Hilarious. It's a, the first time it happened, I'm just like, wait, what now? <laughs> and then I'm just like, oh, I get it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, are we going to get some answers tonight? You get answers every night. I know. You get answers every night. Like, if not you miss tonight. Every, not the ones they want, though. Was it? <laughs> they get answers, but evidently not the ones they're looking for. But they're coming. I feel like it's like finding a treasure, you know what I mean? It's like a scavenger hunt. Right. You pick up an answer here, you pick up an answer there, but if you miss those little answers and you skip over and watch the finale, then you're going to miss everything in the middle and you're not going to understand it. Exactly. And like, you just join on and pick up a piece here, there, there. Yeah. And it's not even pieces, it's big piece, big, big, big clues that get dropped. So Right. So yeah. moral of the story, tune in every week. And if you miss it, record it, because if you miss it, missed it you miss a lot i'm telling you it sounds like a catchphrase but so true yeah listen back say hello to the family for me thank you for joining on it Do is the same. a pleasure as always my friend right. love you so much love you too babe tell everybody right. to say hey all right well is the elevator working by the way but you know what <laughs> hit that like button and subscribe to this channel Thanks for watching.